Today we are doing Botox for prevention purposes. So Botox is a treatment that paralyzes your muscles. So when you paralyze muscles like in your, fore, in your forehead, in your glabella or your crow's feet, there's three or four months that you're not able to make wrinkles. So that is great. It also trains you to stop scowling and stop raising your eyebrows. So even as this wears off over the next three to four months, you're gonna be out of the habit of doing those things that make you have wrinkles eventually. So our patient is a great preventive patient and we're gonna go ahead and do the injections. I'm gonna have you just relax here. And I've already wiped her off with some alcohol. And I'm gonna start with her glabella, which is here. This generally makes the 11s and then her forehead, obviously forehead lines. We're not doing crow's feet because she has none. So I'm gonna just balance right here and I'm starting over your left eyebrow. Ready, one, two, three, here we go. Just a little baby poke there. Oh, so good. Over your left eyebrow again. Awesome. Okay, excellent. Turn a little towards me. And I'm going to go over your right eyebrow now. One, two, three. Hi, hi. And over here again. And one in the middle. Boom. So that is for her glabella or those 11s. And now we're going to move to her forehead and we're going to treat those as well. Um, normally the amount of units for this area is typically 20 units to start. People can have done as much as 40 or even 60 units in here. There is really not a limit to Botox injections. Uh, 30,000 units will kill somebody, but we don't do that many. <laughs> typically, usually people are somewhere between 30 and 100 units, depending on if they're doing masseter or muscle treatment or hyperhidrosis treatment. So. Um, okay, so we're going to go ahead and do the forehead. I'm going to start over your left eyebrow. One, two, three. Here we go. And so for the next 10 minutes, she'll have tiny little bumps, but those will go away. And then nobody will know she even did it. Okay, turn towards me a little bit more. Perfect. Again, it takes 30,000 units to kill somebody. I'm not going to let you drink it. We're just going to inject it and it only radiates out a quarter so it's not going to affect your left arm if i inject you up here on your forehead but it will take anywhere from three to four days up to two whole weeks to work and typically after the procedure i have people do facial exercises so i'll have our patient furrow and raise her eyebrows and furrow and raise her eyebrows for about an hour after doing the procedure helps it work in um, if you forget it's still going to work but and then what I don't want you to do is put any pressure on it for the next three or four days. So if you have a nice relaxing massage scheduled, you wouldn't want to put that facial cradle right here um, because then it could force it to radiate out a little bit. So just for about three or four days. But those are the main things with, uh, with Botox, post Botox uh, instructions. We also have all of our post care instructions on our website. So if you want to find out more about botulinum toxin or Botox or Xeomin, please Find us at rejuvenationmdmedspot.com or come and see us.